Wow. Wow. This is incredible. It's the most outrageous shit I've ever heard in my entire life. This is off the hook. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Because in today's news, we all know Barack Obama has got the majority of the pledges. Hillary now wants to count the votes from Florida and this other state, I forget. Now, if Hillary was the only person that campaigned in Florida, knowing that the Florida you know, primaries were not going to be counted, how can you then ask for those votes to be counted if you were the only one that, um, you know, pretty much put your name on the ballot? Wouldn't it be in America's best interest for them just to do the whole thing over, add all the names, and let it go fresh? Let that be the last one, the last primary? No. Mrs. Clinton just wants the votes. Wow. No one else put their name on the ticket and she wants all that she accomplished from that. Wow. This has been an argument for months. And the only way to redo this or to make this actually worth it is to have it redone where both candidates you know, go for it. One last debate. One final bang. One last hoorah. One more run for Hildo. Let Hildo get her chance. Let it be fair, Hillary. You and Barack face off in Florida. One last time. Do it. But don't just say you want those delegates after the fact. You knew they weren't going to be counted. You knew they weren't going to be counted, but wow. You have to have them. You have to prove that you can beat McCain. You have had over a year to prove that you can beat John McCain. You have had the exact same amount of time to collect more votes than Barack Obama. You do not want to make this a Gore Bush in Florida. Because if you make this a Gore Bush, you will lose. Um, I know you'll never be vice president. I know you won't be vice president, but you know how the rules go. You might be the secretary of state up in this. You might be the secretary of state for the United States of America, the first white woman to be secretary of state for the white, for, for the United States of America. The first, no wait a minute. No, Madeleine Albright, nah, she was a man. Was she a man? Oh well. I don't know, I forget. That's because of the fluoride in the water. But, for you to ask for delegates from a state in which you were the only person's name on the ballot, it's kind of low. I expect a higher, a higher standard from the Clintons. If your husband was on the ticket as vice president for Barack Obama, Barack will win. If Al Gore is on the ticket with Barack Obama, Barack Obama will win. If Hillary Clinton is on the ticket with Barack Obama, 
John McCain will be the President of the United States of America. And that, my friend, is an opinion. When you see two people battle it out, you know it's bullshit when they join forces. This problems need to be solved. And there are, what's the word I want to use? Favors made. And in saying that, what favors have been made? What favors have been made for us to start counting Florida when only one person actually ran in Florida? What favors to be made if all the superdelegates decide to flip-flop? What favors have been made for the candidates and not the people? So, in saying that, your fight has been more than courageous, Hillary. Your fight was admirable, Mrs. Clinton. Your fight was downright in there. The moral of the story in this story is this. When one comes from the mud to stand tall amongst men, the men must take notice. But if a woman stands tall next to these men, trying to take notice of this one man, Somehow she's overshadowed because of her sex. So not, not the fact that there's a black man and a white woman vying for the presidency of the United States of America. The fact that the average American won't take these two people serious. They can't work together now because they've slain too much mud. And then if they did be on the same ticket... Just like it is a black man and a white woman. Stereotypes will be filled in. Now, I truly feel saddened because I looked at you as the President of the United States of America, Hillary. But truly, 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 the longer you stay in the running, the worse it is for our party. The longer you sit and fight for the second place gives the other guy fuel to burn our house down. Four more years of Bush tactics will not make America better. And you know just as well as I do, if you're lying to the American public and you do the same thing, at least, at least, at least, you got in before you flip-flopped. Johnny has flip-flopped, flop, flip, flippity, floppity, flippity, flop. Barack has flippity, 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 flop. And you... Have flippity 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 flopped also. The moral of the story is the American people have been fooled to believe there are three people running for president of the United States of America when in the end there's only going to be two. How can we have gone so long in this fight to see which one of you guys are going to be our nominee? It's insane. Stupid. Both of you have given fodder to John McCain. And if he beats either one of you, it's because of either one of you. So you can't say Barack can't win and Barack can't say that you can't win. And then saying that, then saying that alone, strategy has been thrown out the window. You went at him, he went at you, and neither one of you have a chance of beating this person without the proper intangibles backing you. If he picks Condoleezza Rice, call it a day. If he picks, what's the name I want to say, Colin Powell, you might as well forget it. If John McCain picks somebody of color, the whole Barack and the whole women thing goes out the window. So you look at what you've asked for. 
you look at what we got and we've all been to 